next day you're a slave And I'm held out as long as I can But I'm you repent, you will all likewise perish I speak unto thee this day, I say rejoice, rejoice, rejoice that I, the living God, have brought thee forth, that I, the living God, have kept thee, that I, the living God, continue to give thee my life. And I say, rejoice for the time that I've called thee unto repentance, revolution in me. For I say, the more that you seriously repent, the more that you put yourself in the place of intercession, the more that you will see what I do. For I say that when men will be accepting of repentance and giving themselves to the same, then I say they know my mercy. But I say when men will be stubborn and proud and resisting repentance, I say they are the ones who pay for the same. That is, they are the ones who shall know devastation, they are the ones who shall know despair and anguish of soul. And I say it is because of their own bitter choices against me, I say it is because they think they can withstand me. Now I say when you see a proud fool in all of his spewing and spitting and accusing and abusing, what do you see? I say, you see a soul that will be damned forever if he does not repent. Now I say, this day there are plenty of proud boasters who think they can stand against me. That is, they think they can refuse repentance, they can refuse the way that I provide, and they will get by. But I say that the truth of it is, their end will be bitter. I say that it will be tragic, and I say that it will be the way of the fool. And I say that their eternity will be in hell forever. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never called men to swell up in pride and arrogance and think they are better than they are. But I say that I've called men to be ever subject unto me, coming forth in the truth the light that I provide. For I say if men will truly be accepting of the way that I give, then they are ever guided by me. But I say if men are rejecting, despising, and hating my way, no, they are the ones who pay. For I say when any man refuses me, he is refusing the very way, the only way of life. When I say when a man has sinned against me, and sinned against me, and sinned against me, yet I say that he refuses to repent, what does he do? I say that he puts himself into the category of fools, and I say that he will be beaten with many stripes. For I say that fools through their stubbornness, their pride, and their willful disobedience will pay for the same. And I say it is me, the living God, who will indeed be keeping my hand of mercy upon the ones who are righteous, that is, in right standing with me. And I say, despite the threatenings of the wicked, I say they shall not prevail against the ones that I, the living God, do keep in my cherishing hand. For I say, when my people will enter into repentance, revolution, and there remain, I say they are well-pleasing unto me. But I say, if any man or woman is rejecting of repentance, what do they do? I say, they put themselves in a place of anguish, they put themselves in a place of bitter revilings and accusings and abusings, and I say, they are locked there. Now I say that I've given the example of many years' duration of someone who refused to repent. That is, they refuse to turn from their wicked way, they refuse to walk uprightly, and where are they now? I say they are locked into bitterness and false accusation, they are locked in darkness and the evil of their own imagination, and I say they have been turned over to the tormentors, and there they remain. Now I say, is it really worth it to have your own way? Is it really worth it to resist repentance when the same is the remedy to the problems that beset the sons of men? Now I say, this day that I, the living God, do thoroughly desire that all men everywhere would repent. Therefore I say, do not give up in the repentance revolution, but I say, be active in the same. And I say, be thankful unto me for the weaponry of repentance, for I say, it is an invincible weapon I have given unto thee. That is, when you continue in repentance, the enemies go mad under the same. For I say, when I, the living God, do ordain repentance and move with me, know that it is the strongest weapon I could give to thee. And I say, no, likewise, it will drive the enemies literally insane and mad because of what? 
because you are standing in the place that by the living God intended for all of my people to come unto. And I say you are standing in the place whereby I the living God am near unto thee. Now I say this day that those who have given themselves to darkness and wickedness cannot stand the power, they cannot stand the light, and they cannot stand the compassion that is bound in repentance. And I say it is because they themselves have hardened their hearts, stiffened their necks, and rebelled against me. And I say therefore when others are humbling themselves, bowing down low and repenting, I say that the enemies are driven mad by the same. And even if they do not know, they know in the spirit because the waves go forth upon them. And I say they are waves of conviction, they are waves of truth, and I say they are waves of light that they cannot deny. Yet I say because of their stubbornness and pride, I say they will resist and resist and resist the call to repent. Now I say this day that I the living God never called thee to be stubborn and proud, but I say that I've called thee to be humble before me. That is, I've called thee to walk in the way that is truth and light, the way that is mercy and hope, and the way that is peace provided. And I say, if you will be coming forth in that way, you are uplifted in me. And I say that you will be directed, corrected, and shown that I am indeed the God of all mercy and truth, the God of all light and strength, and the God of hope provided. Therefore I say this day be thankful for the way that I lead thee by the power of my spirit, and I say be looking unto me. For I say it is me, the living God, who will give to thee the victories every single time if you keep your vision upon me. For I say it is me, the living God, who has overcome the world and every demon force that is bound in the same. And it is me, the living God, who will bring down the proud fools who think they can strut and boast against me. For I say that I, the living God, am not mocked, and when men through their own deceit of conceit think they can get by on me, they are the fools. That is, they are fools who are steeped in folly, they are fools who are far from the truth, and yes, indeed, they will pay for the same. For I say, what was gone a whoring after the ways of the world and displayed themselves in all manner of evil, I say, they are nothing but a grief to me. And I say that it is me, the living God, who has wrath stored up to vindicate upon such fools. Therefore I say this day when you hear the spew, when you hear the accusation, the terrorization, the filthiness, the vileness that men have lent, lent themselves unto, know exactly this, that they will indeed be possessed of the very demons they have flirted with all along. And I say while they you in their anger, their rage, their discontent, know that I, the living God, have the cup of wrath for them. And when they are found under the same, there is nothing they will be able to do. For I say that I will not hear them when they cry, because they stubbornly resisted me. Now I say this day, be thankful for the opportunity to repent before me day by day. That is, that you do not need to build up a cup of wrath in me, but you can indeed build up my mercy. That is, that you can know my mercy unto thee day by day, because you are walking uprightly in me. And I say that you can be kept in that mercy, ever directed and corrected and guided by me. Now I say this day, go in a way of bitterness, when you see the fools who have given themselves unto the same. But I say instead be rejoicing that it is me, the living God, that you serve. That is, that you do not need to serve a proud image as to how great you are when you are nothing but an empty-headed fool. But instead you can be thankful each day that I, the living God, do keep thee in humility, and I give abundance of mercy unto thee. And I say, be thankful that each and every day I will uplift, guide, and direct thee forth, for yes, indeed, you are mine. Now I say this day, count it a privilege to be coming forth, count it a privilege to be uplifted and shown the way that I intend time and again. For I say, when you walk with me through repentance, you will find that I, the living God, reveal myself unto thee. But I say, when men are full of pride in their own way, I say that I, the living God, am not near to them. And I say they live in their own imagination, they live in their own deficiency, and yet they claim they are great with me. Oh, what fools they are who turn from the way of righteousness, who turn from the way of repentance to take up the way of lies. 
Now I say this day that I the living God will give to every fool his just reward. Do not doubt me, but believe me and know that I'm able. And I say, do not grow angry at me and think that indeed my vindication should be displayed in your timing. For I say, it is me, the living God, who does wait upon the sons of men till they completely have filled their cup of wrath before me. Then I say, when the cup is full, there is no stopping the wrath for forth. I say, this day so it is with nations when they have filled the cup and they have refused to repent, I say, they receive the wrath. But I say, when I, the living God, do put forth the call to repentance, and men will hear the call and obey me, then I say, they will receive the cup of my mercy. I say, this day be thankful that I, the living God, am ever present with thee to give thee mercy, to give thee truth, to give thee life. And I say, be thankful that you do not need to go in the way of the hard-headed fools who are stubborn and proud. But I say, be thankful that you can be brought forth, uplifted, directed, and ever guided by me. And I say, be thankful that as you are purposed in the truth, the light, the mercy of who I am, you will come forth rejoicing. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not, I absolutely do not intend that you would go in the way of fools. But I say that I intend that you would come forth, be glad that you are given the privilege, the opportunity to be serving me. That is, be thankful that I give to thee the truth, the light, and the hope day by day, for I am ever present unto thee. And I say, when it is me that you will be looking unto in faith and trust and confidence, you are, of course, brought forth in my way. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call thee to behave in a way that is foolish, a way that is vile, a way that is corrupt. But I say that I call thee to come forth in the way of righteousness, the way of truth, and the way of mercy. For I say, if you continue in repentance, you will be continually washed in me. And I say that you will be made clean, for I, the living God, wash thee in the same. Now I say this day that I, the living God, want you to rejoice even in the present circumstance. That is, rejoice that I am the Almighty God, that every enemy force is literally subject unto me. And I say, when men are full of demons, they are spewing and sputtering and abusing and abusing. Why is it so? I say it is because they have refused stubbornly and proudly to repent. That is, they have thought they could withstand me, they have thought they could overthrow me, and they have thought they could do it their way. Now I say they are the ones who howl in desolated places, whose mouths are full of cursing and vileness, who are full of wickedness on every hand. And I say they are the ones who are in the misery of their rejection of me. I say this day be thankful that you do not need to be found in such a place, nor keep company with the same. But I say be thankful that you can come forth in the truth, the light, the infinite mercy that I give day by day, that you can indeed be uplifted and strengthened by me, the one true God who is able. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, the way of all truth, and the way of mercy intended. And I say, if you will be coming forth in my way, you are well pleasing unto me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call thee to go in the way of stubborn, proud, and hard-headed fools, not at all. And I say that I call thee to continue in repentance, that you can indeed have my favor given unto thee. And I say the more that you repent sincerely before me, the greater the power of the same. And I say that the enemies are literally tortured when my own people are in repentance revolution. That is, the enemies know, they detect, and they sense exactly when it is that repentance goes forth. And I say because they themselves are locked in stubbornness and pride and rebellion and will not repent, I say they grow more angry by the day. And I say, you will see their hostility, you will see the terrorization, you will see the false accusation on the rise. But I say, while it is so happening, realize it is because men refuse to repent unto me. And I say, be thankful for repentance, revolution, exercise yourselves in the same every single day, giving the thanks to me. But unless you repent, you will all likewise perish.